there is a secret to selling your handmade products on Facebook, and it's not what you think. I'm Allie Thompson with Creative Success Secrets, and I teach people how to make sales on Facebook. Now, a lot of people will come to me and say, I'm posting my stuff for sale all the time. I'm constantly talking about what I've made and how much it is. Nobody buys on Facebook. Nobody buys on Facebook. I've been trying, 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 and it doesn't work. Well, there's a reason why what you're doing doesn't work, and that's because you are employing the wrong strategy. So let's take a step back here for a minute and think about what Facebook is and what Facebook isn't. Facebook is not, even though we think of it this way, and even though a lot of people use it this way, Facebook was not designed to be an advertising platform. Facebook was not designed to be the home shopping network, for instance. Facebook was designed as social media. It was a place for people to get together and learn more about each other, engage with each other, um, keep up with one another, to have fun together, fu post funny things, laugh at each other, cry with each other. It was intended to be social. Now, in the, how long ago has it been now? T at least 10 years, 11, 12 years ago, Facebook started the um, business pages side of its platform. So a business could actually go on there and post and talk about their business and, and do some advertising. Now, the, 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 the bad thing that happened is businesses looked at these business pages on Facebook and they completely forgot the social part, all right? Oh, I can put my business on Facebook. This is the greatest new advertising platform. This is like better than billboards. This is great for those of them that got it at the time, that saw the potential in this at the time. There's still businesses not on Facebook, which blows my mind. Um, and they completely forgot what Facebook originally was created to do. created Facebook was created for us to be entertained, to get news, to interact with each other, and to be social. So when now, even 10, 12 years later, people are making the same mistake. So when you go to Facebook and you say, here is my product, it is for sale, here is the price. Think about how that post is being digested by the end user. So if you make the post and I'm the end user, I'm flipping through my newsfeed, do, 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 do. Oh, there's my aunt from Maine, her flowers are blooming, isn't that great? Oh, there's my cousin, she just had her baby, oh, isn't the baby so cute? Up oh, here's what's happening with coronavirus, da, 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 whatever about that. Um, scroll through some more, here's, here's um, some local news. Oh, that's a really funny picture of a dog. Look at that cute dog. Oh my gosh, that meme is so funny and on and on we go, all right? Oh my gosh, my mom doesn't know how to fa use Facebook. You know, then she always posts something kind of random. Then in the middle of all of that, while I'm being social, you're popping in with, here's a product, buy it. And my first inclination is to get past it faster because that's not why I'm on Facebook. I am not on Facebook to be sold to. I'm just not, I'm just not. Now I may want to discover products. I may want to discover brands. I may want to see new ideas for how to use a particular product, but I'm not there to be sold to, all right? I'm there to be social. So when you're constantly making those posts, you're turning me off. Not only am I scrolling past you faster, I'm a little bit annoyed. Ugh, get that out of my newsfeed. Now Facebook knows what's going on. They see my scrolling. And they see that I scrolled slowly past my Aunt Rita's flowers blooming in Maine. They see that I stopped and read the dog meme. They see that I commented on my cousin's newborn baby. But when it came to your post, whoop, I went right by. And so Facebook's like, you don't produce very good content. So I'm going to show your posts fewer and fewer and fewer. And you don't have things that people are actually interested in. So how do you actually sell on Facebook? If you can't make a post that says, here's my product, here's the price, if that doesn't work, which it doesn't, there, there are cases where it can work, but this it's after you've built that relationship, right? 
So if, if I can't sell the product that way, how do we sell? How are these people having so much success on Facebook? And, you know, I run a program called Posse. My Posse members are making sales hand over fist, thousands and thousands of dollars a month on Facebook. Not all of them, but a lot of them are making a lot of money selling on Facebook. And none of them are posting a picture of their product with a price. So what are they doing? What is the secret? What is the secret to selling on Facebook? The secret to selling on Facebook is to be social. It's a social media platform. If you are social on the platform, if you are if you are giving people what they're looking for on the platform, then you are gonna have way more success than by working against their behavior on the platform. So how do you be social? You engage with them, you, you give them a behind the scenes, you tell them stories about how your business started. You play fun engagement games with them where you're giving first. You're, you're not asking them to buy, you're just saying, here's something fun, let's do this fun thing together. Um, you are learning more about them. They are learning more about you. It's as if they have friended this new person on Facebook and over time they're getting to know them and deciding whether or not they like them. And after a while, have you ever done that where you friended somebody on Facebook? You don't actually know them in real life, but over time you're like, oh, I like this person. They're like, we could be best friends if we ever met in person. And that's because over time, we're seeing more about their life. We're seeing their, their sense of humor, their personality. We're learning more about them as a person. And it's the same thing with your business on Facebook. In order to sell on Facebook, you have got to stop selling, all right? Let me repeat that again. The secret to selling on Facebook is to stop selling, start engaging, be social. Your business has to develop a relationship with the customers. Now, the good news is this isn't that hard. Um, it's, it's not something that a lot of people watching this right now feel that like it comes naturally to them. But once you learn the, once you, once you back away from the salesiness, it's fairly easy to relax into it and, and really get more personal in a in a more personal um uh, how do i want to say it I, I don't want you to think i'm saying personal like you have to give them all your dirty laundry and you're like um you know oh i just had a fight with my husband last night or i'm eating a ham sandwich but you're making your business more personable how about that more likable more um more approachable and and the customer on the other end is going to go through their newsfeed and say, oh, what are they up to today? Oh, look, that's really nice. This is fun. Well, wow, they're doing a nice thing. They have a dog kind of like my dog. And they get to know you and they build a relationship with you, even if they have not connected with you ever in person and face to face. To sell on Facebook, you've got to stop selling. You've got to stop selling and start engaging and building relationships. You need to be social. So I said it's not that hard, um, but a lot of people have a hard time wrapping their head around exactly how to do it. And the good news is, is I have a tool just for that. Um, I mentioned earlier about my program called Posse. In Posse, we teach you how to use Facebook to grow your business, um, grow your audience, engage your customer, and make sales. And part of that engagement side of it there there is a lot of training in posse and how to do the engagement but over the last um year i developed a calendar that um actually teaches you and shows you it it straight up just shows you what to post every day you don't even have to think about it you don't even have to sit there and threat like, oh, what should I say? How do I be social? How do I take off my salesman hat and, and engage and actually build a relationship with my customers? You don't have to think about it. Um, every day there's, there's a prompt in the calendar. So we have a calendar for every single month. 
Um, we're in May right now, so there is a May calendar. Next month, we'll have a June calendar. The next month, we'll have a July calendar. And the prompts are designed around what's going on in, in, you know, in our culture and in, in the American culture, such as Mother's Day and uh, Memorial Day, but not just those specific days, because that can be kind of easy, like Happy Mother's Day, right? Um, but how to remind them to buy from you for Mother's Day, how to bring that subject up, how to thank them for purchasing from you, and then other posts that you can be doing, engagement games, and relationship building exercises that you can do with your customers that just makes them feel like they have a relationship with you and your business. And that relationship is what leads to sales. It's what leads to sales. So that calendar is available when you take our 30 day trial of Posse for only $7. So when you take the Posse trial, you get 30 days, you get access to everything in the program. Um, there are no restrictions. It's not like the trial people get this over here and regular Posse members get this over here. Trial members get access to everything that everybody else in Posse gets. Um, you get access to all of the training. We talk about engagement and what it takes to actually be engaging, what types of posts you want to do, um, what sorts of things you don't want to be posting about because there are some no-nos. Um, you get the training on how to give your Facebook page a makeover, how to increase how many followers and fans you have on your Facebook page, how to go Facebook Live with confidence, how to do Facebook Live sales. Um, that's been a biggie. One of our members uh, just made over $6,000 in the last five, six weeks since we've been in lockdown because of Facebook Live sales and what she's learned through Posse. So come on over to Posse, do the 30-day trial, get access to the calendar, stop selling your followers, start engaging with them so that they desire your product. And when you do that, when you make that switch, you're gonna find that sales are way easier than you ever thought was possible. Sales is not hard. Selling people is hard. Sales is not hard. We make it easy with Posse. So click the link either in the description above, below, or in the comments, wherever it is on this particular video. Um, take your 30-day trial. It's only $7. You can cancel any time. Um, give it a shot. Start applying it to your business. And, and you know, what, do, what have you got to lose? What have you got to lose? You're, you're, we are so confident that it's going to make a difference in your business. And that's why we're offering the 30 days for only $7. Because we know once you see the difference, it will make you stick around. All right. That's all I've got for you today. Click the link. Take your 30-day trial. And I'll see you guys later.